Hey man, say man, I got some news for y'all today, man. Hey man, I want to talk about that girl Glorilla, man. You know, uh, Glorilla recently just had a situation going on with her producer, uh, Hit Kid. You know, uh, Hit Kid is a producer out of Memphis that you know been going hard for a minute now. You know, uh, he one of the hardest uh producers out of the city. A lot of people say he the hardest. You know, but um, you know, him and Glorilla did the uh FNL song together. You know, um, if you didn't notice when you uh go to the song, it got both of their name in the title. So it's basically both of their song. He kid produced it, you know, he set up the video or how they did the video and all that. You know, um, Glorilla said she wrote the lyrics to the song or whatever, but you know, it's basically both of their song, mainly his song, you know, um, and a situation happened where, you know, um, Glorilla is suing him or Glorilla, her team is suing him. They trying to get 100% rights to the song, you know, uh, basically own the song. Cause I think she said, uh, well, I think he kid said, that they trying to put that song on her new EP that's supposed to be dropping uh, in November. And, you know, uh, the situation pretty sad because, you know, they basically went to social media with it. You know, uh, he kid, he was the first one who said something. When he said something, a lot of people said they was wondering why when Glorilla won her award at the Hip Hop Award, she never mentioned Hit Kid. She never gave him a shout out or anything like that. So now people realize why, you know, um... Like I said, it's a sad situation because, uh, you know, her and his kid, they basically started together, you know, um, they basically started together. And even when she was exposing certain things on Facebook, she mentioned that she still got love for his kid because they started together, you know, um. But you know, he kid, he kid, she's claimed he kid was trying to sign her and all the other females and start like a little female group and she didn't want to do it. And she said that he was salty ever since then when um she didn't want to sign to him. You know, uh, she also mentioned that, you know, she said he went allegedly, she said he went behind her back and, you know, sold the song, you know, without letting her know. But he said something about that she went behind his back and she signed a deal with CMG without letting him know. And, you know, uh, she put F and F in her contract. And it's just a lot of crazy situation, man. It just, it's a sad situation that they uh, fell out like that. And, you know, going back and forth on the internet, man. Once it hit, once it hit the internet like that, it's usually hard to come back from it, you know. Um, and, you know, especially with Memphis. Memphis been doing good lately with, you know, certain rappers squashing beef and, people coming together a lot of rappers getting signed so it's just crazy to see a situation like this where two people who start together fall out like that you know um and he killed her hardest producer you know i don't care what nobody say but you know this is why a lot of people say man it's best to stay independent because it's like when you sign labels you sign to certain uh people you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna say label but when you sign to certain people you know what i'm saying it's like it's crazy how when you sign that deal then a lot of, you know, you get to falling out with people that you was once with at first. So, you know, um, I feel like it's best to stay independent, man, and do everything on your own. But, you know, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation in the comments. I'm gone.